Hi guys, Barney Boy here again, and today what we're going to be looking at is how to fix a, lo a loose toilet seat like so. So if your toilet does that when you're up here and it does that, you want to fix it, okay? Now what I tend to find uh, when people are researching how to fix toilet seats uh, and lids, whatever else, is that it tends to always go to a Samsung toilet. Now a Samsung toilet is one where you can get the bolts from behind here. Uh, and it's very easy to fix that way, you can just tighten those bolts and that's it, job done. However, with these more modern type of toilets, which tend to be square, you can't actually access any bolts from underneath the toilet, it is just one unit. And as nice as they are with the square toilet and the button to flush and whatever else, it can be a bit tricky when trying to tighten a loose toilet seat. Now you may get a loose toilet seat when you have kids, or if the mother-in-law is around, and so obviously then you want to fix it as soon as you can. So the first thing that you will need when fixing a loose toilet seat and lid on one of these square type of toilets is just a flathead screwdriver, standard size, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Again, just a standard size. You don't have any special uh, tools other than those two. Now what you want to do is first make sure the toilet's obviously clean, uh, just in case you drop something or whatever else, and obviously you're going to be close up to it, and put both the toilet lid and the toilet seat up to the top. Now what we can see here is these two metal casings and they actually are covering the bolts themselves. And we can see we've got two silver units here and two plastic caps here. Now those plastic caps are just stopping that lid from moving more than what it would without them. And so basically what we want to do, get the flathead screwdriver and you can see at either the top or the bottom there's a few millimetres gap on these little plastic casings. You just get that flathead screwdriver at the top, pull it out, and that little thing will come out like so. Put them to one side, they are small, you do not want to lose them. And we we'll just do the same with the other side, get that out like so. Now, what we're left with is a more loose toilet lid and seat. And these metal things in here are actually buttons. So when I push those in, if you listen carefully, you should hear a click. There we go. And then what happens is the whole unit should just lift up without issue. I'll just click in again. There we go. Lift up without issue and come off completely. And you're left with these two here. So you can see that's the problem there. That one's moving. That one is actually all right, but I'll tighten that one a little bit as well. This is also a great opportunity to clean that toilet lid and toilet seat. Uh, because A, it's off, and B, you can get to some areas you may not have been able to get to previously. Now is the time when you will need the flathead screwdriver. And all you want to do is put it under the metal casing, twist it, and that just comes off like so. Same with the other side, twist it, that just comes off like so. What we can see here is we've got this metal rod sticking up that the toilet lid and seat actually slot into, a Phillips head screw there, and then the actual black unit that's loose, that's loose itself, okay? So that's what needs tightening. Here, this one's actually okay. Uh, we can tighten that a little bit as well. But what we can see here is we wanna make sure as well that these two rods remain the same distance apart as they were when I took it off and it was straight uh, because that's how they're gonna be tightened and we wanna make sure it fits in the same as well without issue. But this is the time of getting your Phillips screwdriver, or your star heads, whatever you wanna call it. Just getting that bolt in the loose one and twisting that, remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So I'm tightening that up, and you wanna make sure you put a bit of tension on this rod, because obviously you can't get to the bolt at the other side, and just tighten that up as much as possible. Not, you don't wanna do it too tight, because you don't wanna damage anything, but you wanna get it fairly tight, fairly uh, finger tight, just to make sure it's not gonna slip. We'll do the same with the other side, and we can see there's a bit of grease coming out as well, or rust even, because you gotta think, Sometimes these remain untouched for years, okay? So I'm quite happy now, they're quite tight. Next job, we'll give these a little bit of a clean, because again, we never really get to these. So you just clean that, polish that off a little bit, and get that on there like so. If you are gonna clean them, and you are gonna throw the tissues away over the toilet, only use toilet roll, don't be putting any wet wipes or anything like that in the toilet, it is bad and it will block the plumbing pipes. So if you are going to give them a clean, you do it with toilet roll only, if you put it in the toilet that is, like me. Okay, put that one 
on there. That's fine. And again, just check that they're quite tight. They're nice and tight. Look at that toilet lid and seat, the whole unit that you will have cleaned if you need to. And again, at the bottom, I'm just going to show you. You can see you've got the holes there and it's the same on the other side there. And they're the two holes that will slot into here. So if we just go like that, it's a little bit tight. One and two, and listen carefully. There we go, that's blocked in. That's pretty secure. You get your two plastic casings that we had earlier. And you want to put them in there, one in there, and the same on the other side, like so. Bring that down, check it. Yep, yeah, perfect. Check it's completely uh, on in, and in line. Give it a clean because again, there will be some bits of grease and rust and oil, whatever. And there we go. I can see that's on. I'm quite happy with that. It's no longer loose. There'll always be a tiny bit of movement in it, but that's only because of this bar here that runs through it, and that's just the way it is. But otherwise, that is certainly a lot more secure than how it was before I started this video. Hope you enjoyed guys. As always, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss any future videos. Thanks a lot guys.